So 2022 was a particularly difficult year for central banks given that they are seeing inflationary pressures coming from the supply side. Uh, but they also had to react to high inflation and we saw uh, significant rate hikes in different markets, um, both in the developed markets, emerging markets, frontier markets such as Kenya. Uh, we saw hikes of around 175 basis points to 8.75%. Now going into 2023, our view is that we could see the pace of those hikes uh, start to gradually slow. Um, so depending on the local factors. So in Kenya's case, for example, we, we are looking at about 75 basis points of hikes uh, still delivered in tranches of about 25 basis points at a time to around 9.5% uh, by 2023. And going into 2024, an easing um, in terms of policy rate cuts uh, in a way, in a bid to support the economy. In terms of what we are seeing with growth, uh, we are expecting uh, economic growth or to really consolidate around the long-term average of around 5%. Um, again, this is on the back of the new administration coming in with different measures to come in that, that they have to boost production, particularly in agriculture, manufacturing, and that should help with growth. But they are also faced with a stark reality with regards to austerity measures that they have to push through, fiscal consolidation that they also have to deliver so that Kenya can be able to stabilize its debt. Again, there have been concerns around um, Kenya's debt, around uh, whether Kenya would be the next candidate after its peers, Ghana and Zambia. Uh, but given that Kenya is part of an IMF program, it's been able to progress successfully, having gotten the approval of the fourth review of the um, IMF-funded program. That would be a positive signal to the investor community that Kenya is keen still keen on servicing the upcoming maturities that are coming due.